Scoliosis, as we understand, is an S-shaped deformity in the back. Usually, when we look at a back, it looks straight from behind. In people who have deformity, we will see a curve going sideways. It can be of four varieties. It can be congenital, which is seen in children at birth and usually associated with some birth defect like segmentation, formation. The second type of scoliosis is developmental, which is usually seen seven times more common in females and is associated with a curve that goes worse around puberty. The third type of scoliosis is neuromuscular, where the children are either suffering from cerebral palsy, spinomuscular atrophy, polio, or other neurological disorders. The fourth variety is the degenerative type seen commonly in the elderly people. The common signs to identify a scoliosis would be a shoulder imbalance or a truncal imbalance, leaning of body to one side, or in children with birth defects, a discoloration spot on the back or a nevus or a tuft of hair. Coming to the methodology of treatment of scoliosis, in most of the congenital scoliosis, whereby there is a formation or segmentation defect, it is advisable to operate these children early at the age of four or five years. Thereby, the surgical procedure becomes small and the child is able to gain normal height and correct curvatures of spine as the child grows up. In developmental varieties, which is more often called idiopathic, the children, usually females, require a surgical correction if the curve is more than 40 degrees. These children have to be watched very carefully and usually around puberty when the curve tends to go haywire. The third variety, which is neuromuscular variety, patient is having spinal imbalance because of muscular atrophy due to neurogenic disorders. Hereby, the child would require a surgical procedure to correct the entire spinal balance. The last variety, which is the degenerative scoliosis, is seen in elderly, whereby the degeneration of discs and facet joints leads to a asymmetric curvature in the lower back. These deformities are dealt in the modern era with minimal invasive techniques like OLIF and TLIF and a fusion is done whereby a coronal as well as a sagittal balance is restored surgically. Scoliosis, if detected, should immediately be consulted with a spine specialist.